Hi everyone, it's Michelle from A Common Life. I probably look a little bit different. I don't have my glasses on today, but it's still me. I just wanted to come on here today and give you a little year in review for the year 2016. Two thousand and sixteen was an absolutely crazy year for my family. As you may know, we moved to North Carolina at the end of two thousand and fifteen, and we rented a house while we were trying to basically figure out where we wanted to live. We didn't know the area. I had never even been here until the day that we moved here, so everything here was new to me. Um, we basically looked on Google Maps and went to the Street View and just basically like drove around the area, looking online, just trying to get to know the area. So that's what we did before we moved here, and then once we did. Move Move here I would pack the kids in the car I would either bring them lunch or pick them up a lunch at Chick-fil-a as a treat and then I would just drive around all the time just trying to get to know the area figure out where we wanted to live which town or city we even wanted to live in because at the time we didn't even know so we spent a long time many hours packed in the car just trying to figure out what to do and so in the end we did find a house that we loved and we closed on it today one year ago today so the way that we found the house that we ended up buying was kind of a funny story. We were using Redfin to uh, search online for houses. And if you have not used Redfin and you're looking to buy a house, I would highly recommend it. It is a really good process and the people that we worked with were all really wonderful. So check it out if you're in the, on the market for a new house. What we did is every time that we found a house that we would like to go see, we would um, like it. I think it's a heart button. You just click that and then it adds it to a list of houses that you want to go see. And then if we didn't like it, we would just exit out and then we wouldn't ever see it again. It wouldn't show up in our search anymore. And so when we came to this house, I never could decide what to do. And I kept seeing it over and over and over again. And I wouldn't heart it and I wouldn't exit out. I just left it there. And so um, my husband said, you know, let's just go check it out. And if we don't like it, we'll just exit out and we'll move on. And the reason that I had some hesitancy was because it needed some renovations and we had never considered doing a renovation before. And so I just wasn't really sure if it's something that we wanted to do. But we went ahead and let the realtor know that we wanted to see this house. And the first moment that we came here, we walked into the backyard and we knew this is it. This is the house for us. And then we walked through the front front door and I literally got goosebumps and I have never gotten goosebumps before in my life for anything. I am not um, a particularly touchy feely person. And so, you know, that's just not really the way I feel things out or um, I don't know, make decisions. But when we came to this house, I just knew it was like, this is the house for us. Whatever it takes, we're going to do the renovations and we are going to buy this house. But thankfully, we closed on the house at the very end of 2015. And then we spent the next four months having the house renovated. We went through and gutted the entire kitchen and we um, replaced the paint everywhere throughout the house, replaced all the carpet, redid um, the hardwood floors downstairs. We replaced all of the light fixtures. And then the big uh, job was that we finished the third floor so that we had a guest suite up there because we don't have any family that lives near us and we wanted to make it so that when they came and stayed with us they had a space that was just for them so they have their basically their own floor um, we have a laundry room up there and there is a living like a living area with a living room and a table and then there is a large bedroom with a full bath and a large closet so that was the big job for the renovation which totally made it worth it in the end for us if you if you know how renovations work if you add more square footage you basically get that money back right away you make more more money back so it was a really good financial investment for us and on top of that we were able to create our dream home in our dream location because my husband and I had always said we wanted five acres with a creek in the middle of the city which obviously that does not exist anywhere but we basically got it because where we live we don't have five acres but we have lots of property that we have access to because it is unbuildable property that is owned by the city and so we are able to just you know go out there and play in the woods and with the creek and then we also are just 10 minutes from downtown city in the city so it has just been so great for us so that was the big thing that happened to us in 2016 um, on top of that, we had a few sad things happen. Unfortunately, two of my husband's grandparents passed away within just a few months of each other. So we had to make trips back for the funerals for them. And so that was really sad. And then um, 
On top of that, just this week, just yesterday, my mom's dog passed away. So I'm still really sad about that. I'm not gonna cry. I'm gonna try not to cry. But anyway, so that was a really sad way to end 2016. She was basically like a family member. So if you are a pet lover out there, you know how hard it can be to lose your pet. So anyway, those were two sad things that happened this year. Um, some really great things that happened where we were able to have a lot of visitors come and stay with us in our new home. So that was really fun. And then we made several trips ourselves this year. We, at the end of August, my parents were here visiting for the kids' birthdays and my husband and I were able to go away for two nights. We didn't go far away or anywhere exotic at all, but we just got away. We ate some good food. We went to some art galleries. We napped and we just had a really good time. So that was really fun. Then in September, we went to New York for my parents' 40th wedding anniversary and got to see the whole family. And so that was really nice too. And then the, this is where our life starts getting crazy. So we went away in August. Then at the beginning of September, we went to New York. And then at the beginning of October, three weeks later, we went back to New York because my husband's sister and her family were coming to the States from Ireland. So we basically spent 24 hours or more in the car to spend two days in New York. So that was crazy, but we had to get back because we had commitments here and we had to homeschool. So it was just a whirlwind of a trip. Then a few weeks later, my in-laws were back here visiting us because of birthdays. Eric shares his birthday with his grandfather. He was actually born on his grandfather's 60th birthday. I will, I will link to that video up here. And um, so they came out to celebrate and then David's birthday was just a few weeks or a few days later. And so when they left, my parents came and they spent a few days with us. And so that was really fun. And then just a few weeks later, my in-laws were back spending Thanksgiving with us, our first Thanksgiving in our new home. And then just a few weeks after that, it was Christmas. And so we had my in-laws here for the beginning, right before Christmas, and then my family came for Christmas Eve and Christmas Day and a few days after. So we just had visitors and traveling nonstop for the last four months. So I can honestly say to you, I am just so looking forward to staying home keeping things simple, slowing down, honestly getting some projects done around the house, getting getting some light fixtures changed. And we still have two big renovations that need to be done here. So at some point, probably not necessarily this year, but soon we will get those accomplished as well. And so I am just hoping that 2017 will be a peaceful and calm year for our family. We are still getting to know the area. We are still trying to make friends. Um, thankfully, we have been able to make some good friends and we found a church that we really love love that we attend but we haven't really made too many friends there yet either so we definitely are going to be working on just you know getting to know people in the area and settling in here because even though we've lived here for eight months already it has been such a crazy eight months and we have been in and out so much and have had so many visitors that we really haven't had a chance to just like settle in and get to know the area so those are our plans for 2017 oh and let me add one more thing 2016 was the year that i decided to stop coloring my hair so for me me, this was a massively huge deal. I had been doing the research for months, not months, years, honestly, trying to figure out what in the world I wanted to do about my hair. So I have been really happy with it. Um, I am at nine months now that I stopped coloring my hair and this is my natural hair color. So that has been really exciting for me. Obviously that's like my own personal triumph of the year, but I am really happy about that. And in addition to that, I have been so excited to be doing YouTube this year. I still laugh at myself when I think about the fact that I'm a YouTuber that, <laughs> I don't know, I'm not trying to make fun of anybody here, but it's just funny. Like you don't think that you will sit in front of a camera and talk and people will actually want to watch and hear what you're saying. So that has just been something really, really fun for me this year. I'm really enjoying it. I'm really enjoying getting to know new people. And I just appreciate your comments and your likes and your questions and your messages and everything. So thank you so much. You guys have just made the last few months of this year just so wonderful for me. So thank you. If you have enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe and click that like button. I really appreciate it because it helps me out so much. Thank you for watching and I hope that you have a wonderful 2017.